With every new generation of Pokemon games, we've seen improvements to the franchise and new features have been added. With Pokemon Scarlet and Violet releasing presumably in November this year, here's 10 things that I would like to see be in the new games. Number 1. A Broken Bottle Cap The introduction of Bottle Caps to Sun and Moon was a huge improvement, especially for players that don't gen their Pokemon. It allowed for easier access to competitive legendaries and shinies, as well as making, for example, Hidden Power Fire a lot less bothersome to get. Having a Broken Bottle Cap item would allow players to change the same Pokemon from, for example, zero speed on a Trick Room team to being a 31 IV on a regular team without the hassle of having to bring a new Pokemon and training that up. Number two, updating ability patches. Being able to get a hidden ability on any Pokemon is a great improvement, but they don't allow you to change a hidden ability to a regular ability, meaning if you have a Pokemon with more than one useful ability, you need two separate versions of that Pokemon. Number three, Overworld Shinies. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee introduced Overworld Shinies, but they were removed again from Sword and Shield, presumably due to performance issues. In any regard, Overworld Shinies definitely spice up shiny hunting and I'm happy to see it return in Legends of Arceus. Number four, catching mechanics. Legends of Arceus introduced Overworld catching mechanics while still allowing for the regular battle and catching method to be used. This is a nice choice to have depending on your mood and I like to say stay in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Number five, single battle sign Let's go Pikachu and Eevee introduce the hot 20 minute battle timer that's previously been known from Battle Spot. This, unfortunately, also is the case for Sword and Shield. 20 minutes have shown time and time again to not be enough for 6v6 battles and have driven many players away from competitive singles. This is due to the format having to rely on unstable land connections with 10 minute your times being the best options, which a lot of people, myself included, have not enjoyed. Optimally, I'd like to see the 60 minute timer of earlier generations make a return. Number 6, a good story. Generally, you don't play Pokemon for the story, I get that, but it's still nice to have a good story when you play through the game. And while Sword and Shield wasn't bad, I'll admit, and this is actually slightly embarrassing, even after having played through it three times, I still have not understood the motivation behind the storyline. And this, compared with the fact that Generation 5 has one of the best storylines, just makes Sword and Shield's playthrough experience seem rather weak. Number 7, Shiny Hunting Mechanics. Sword and Shield only really having breeding as a reliable shiny hunting method was a bit of a bummer. And while Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl introduced two new ways of shiny hunting, only the Poker Raider was actually good enough odds that it was really worth it. Optimally, I like to see multiple ways that you can shiny hunt reliably in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Number 8, DLCs. The DLCs for Sword and Shield definitely helped extending the life cycle of the game, and I'm hoping to see them make even greater ones for Scarlet and Violet, instead of the typical enhanced version that we know from the past. However, it would be great if they were a little beefier than what we saw in Sword and Shield. Number 9, Side Quests. We have seen side quests in previous games such as Sun and Moon, but these were relatively insignificant for the overall experience of the game. In Legends of Arceus, Sidequest was much more integrated into the game and had a much bigger impact. And this gives you more freedom in how you want to play through the game, and I like to see it be more integrated in Scarlet and Violet 2, so you can decide the pacing of the game yourself. Number 10, in-game battles. In Legends of Arceus, the battles feel really smooth. The battles don't take place in pre-made scenes as in previous games and you have full control of the camera while battling. Also, having multiple Pokemon join the wild fights is nice because it adds a little bit of a challenge to the game too. So those are the 10 things that I would like to see in Scarlet and Violet. Do let me know if you have other things that you would like to see. And until next time, you can check out one of these videos or click the subscribe button. See ya, bye!